हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर हिमानी गुप्ता वेलकम यू टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय गायनेक वर्ल्ड टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट अ हीमोग्लोबिनोपैथी व्हिच इज सिकल सेल डिजीज एंड इट्स इफेक्ट ऑन प्रेगनेंसी सिकल सेल डिजीज इज अ जेनेटिक डिसऑर्डर ऑफ हीमोग्लोबिन In this disorder, instead of normal hemoglobin A, the bone marrow produces abnormally structured hemoglobin S. Because of this hemoglobin S, the shape of the RBC, that is red blood corpuscles, becomes distorted. These distorted RBCs, when they pass through reticulo endothelial system they get destroyed in large numbers the by product of this destruction leads to rise in unconjugated hemoglobin in the blood there is also secretion of urobilinogen in the urine making the urine color as high pale yellow clinically the patient will present as jaundice and chronic anemia body will try to correct this anemia by making more blood in the bone marrow and the peripheral smear will have a high count of reticulocytes that are immature rbcs because of this increased metabolism a liver enzyme LDH level is also increased in blood this disease is characterized by life threatening vaso occlusive crises what happens is this when these abnormally shaped rbcs pass through microvasculature of any organ they get stuck creating occlusion and a situation of micro infarction to understand it fully you can imagine that the blood flow stops after a certain point in the organ it creates paucity of oxygen supply in the end organ if this situation is happening in vital organs like lungs heart brain it can be life threatening too if a woman has sickle cell disease she may have following consequences she may have micro or macro infarcts that can lead to organ damage she may have severe anemia crisis that can lead to severe hemolysis red cell aplasia and splenic sequestration acute chest syndrome may become a cause for maternal mortality neurological events also can complicate her journey now let's talk about each event in a bit of detail vaso occlusive crisis or painful crisis is the most common reason for recurrent hospital admissions mostly pain occurs in third trimester or postpartum period most common site is head of femur or head of humerus and the reason of pain is osteonecrosis of bone marrow in acute hemolytic crisis the red blood cells gets sequestered in spleen leading to its rapid enlargement and abdominal pain in acute lung injury two things happen one fat embolism from bone marrow and second vaso occlusive crisis patient presents with acute chest pain respiratory distress along with increased respiratory rate coughing wheezing hypoxia and abnormal pulmonary function test x ray shows pulmonary infiltrates neurological events may cause fits in the patient course of pregnancy is complicated 
for women having sickle cell disease. Firstly, there are higher chances of spontaneous abortions. Most of the complications are result of vaso-occlusive disorder because of which there is decreased blood supply to the placenta and to the fetus. Following is the list of maternal complications. Cerebral vein thrombosis, deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, pregnancy induced hypertension, eclampsia, preterm labor, placental abruption. Fetal complications are also many. Intrauterine growth retardation, prematurity, preterm birth, and even intrauterine fetal death. Care of these pregnant women should be done in a tertiary care center where a team of doctors like gynecologist, hematologist, physician, neonatologist is always available. Also, there should be a facility of ICU, NICU and blood bank available in-house for the proper care of these patients. Frequent monitoring of these patients including blood tests and ultrasound will be required. Fetal well-being will also need to be monitored more closely by doing frequent ultrasounds, color doppler and NST test. The patient may require multiple hospital admissions to manage sickle cell crisis and even blood transfusions. Baby delivery may happen prematurely for various reasons and baby will require NICU care also because of the prematurity as well as low birth weight. Challenges are many but with modern medical care, safe mother and safe baby, this outcome is definitely possible. So friends, keep watching my YouTube channel, My Gynec World. Share, like and subscribe. Thank you.